Hi guys, Callum from the Bushcraft Cave here. Welcome to another video. I've got a super, super cool mod for you today. Um, what we're going to do is we've got our Nalgene stainless steel uh, wide mouth water bottle, which is a wicked bottle and we, we love them here at the Bushcraft Cave. Um, we're going to improvise a pot hanger. And the best thing is, this is a super cheap mod. You only need a couple of real basic materials um, to do this. The first one is you'll need some um, electrical connectors. I got these from Wix this morning for 99p. Um, and what you'll do is just literally you can break these off with your hand they come in little pairs as you can see take them off um, I use my Gerber suspension multi-tool to cut off the plastic around the outside and what you'll be left with afterwards are these and you just need two for this modification that's it and the only other thing you're going to need is some steel cable I was dropping some rubbish off at the recycling centre this morning and I asked uh, the chap there if there were any bikes because the bike, the cables um, are really great. It's basically exactly what I've got here but it's a cheaper version so it, that's always a really good shout if you want to keep the cost down um, just head down to your recycling centre. If they've got any bikes they'll give it to you for free or, or just a, f a, f a few pennies, nothing much. Failing that though, I popped over to Halfords and um, I bought this gearing cable which was £1.50 and it's, uh, it's brand new which is great and um, there's loads and loads here. So the whole setup for me today was less than £2.50. Um, so if you can beat that price, you're doing well. Uh, and thirdly, the last thing we're obviously going to need is our Nalgene stainless steel bottle. This is, my, uh, this is my cook kit and perhaps I'll do a video on this another time if anyone's interested to see how it all f uh, fits together and, and what products I've chosen here. Um, but this is a GSI Glacier Cup, so I'll take that off. And this is a Esbet 750mm uh, milliliter, sorry, even titanium cooking pot. And the star of the show is our Nalgene stainless steel bottle. If you haven't got a Nalgene one, I would check the bottle, but there are a few others that this same modification can work with. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer and we'll get started. Okay, so this can look a little bit fiddly and complicated, so I'm just going to try and make it look super, super simple and do it stage by stage. So first thing to do is obviously remove the lid from your Nalgene stainless steel bottle. Um, next thing to do, have your multi-tool or whatever you're using on hand and then take your two cable connectors and thread them through. This one's done up a little bit. <clears throat> So insert that one into your wire and take the second one and do exactly the same thing. So that's step one, just uh, literally both of the cable connectors on there. Next thing to do, take the other end of the wire and we're just gonna put it through the second connector. The first one, you can just let it loose for the moment and then just tighten these up roughly with your, uh, with your fingers. Don't wanna uh, crank them up too much at the moment, just a little bit so it can still move as well, just like that. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna start pulling it. So this is the long end we're pulling through here. Um, just to start making everything a little bit smaller so it's gonna fit the bottleneck really. So that looks good to go. Now, <clears throat> you can see that we put the cable, the tail end sticking out this way on this side. And what it needs to do on the other side is it needs to go the opposite way. So it will need to go back through that way. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna feed this end through this side of the cable. And I'm gonna need quite, oh, just caught the GoPro there. Needs to take quite a bit down. And as a rough guide, I reckon that looks pretty good for the moment. We will need to make some further adjustments, but again, just tighten that up with your fingers to start with because it can be a bit awkward using your, your multi-tool as you'll see in a moment no doubt so <laughs> just tighten up with your fingers for the minute so as you can see that's the basic shape of it already so put the, both the cable connectors on inserted the cable through the first one only made it finger tight made the whole thing a bit smaller by pulling the longer end and then we just threaded the cable through at the opposite side over here and that's basically it. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this on the neck of the bottle and we're gonna slightly adjust it and tighten everything up and uh, we should be looking pretty, pretty good. So, first of all, these obviously have to be at opposite sides to each other just so the whole thing's symmetrical in and the, uh, the pot hanger actually stands up as it should and it's not, um, it's not at an angle. So, easiest way is to hold one side in, just like this, and then 
just give it a pull and the other side will tighten up just like that can be a little bit fiddly okay that's looking pretty pretty good just gonna make sure it's nice and tight which that feels like it is so after we've done that side we no longer need to adjust this anymore so this side we can screw up nice and tight Okay, it's looking good. Now the next question is just how loose we want to have our pot hanger. That looks probably a little bit too big to me, so I'm just gonna bring it down very slightly to about that height, and I think that looks pretty much perfect. So do exactly the same on the other side now. Just take your screwdriver and uh, tighten it up as best as you can. Once everything's finished off, you can give it one final crank, but just for the moment, we just want to get everything in place and we'll have another final look at it. And if we need to make any adjustments, we can then do that. So that is looking pretty good so far. That just literally hangs down like that. The whole point of putting them in at opposite sides at the beginning is so you can see it naturally wants to stand up on itself and that's kind of the whole point of it that's if they if it was both going the same way it, it would just fall down at one side so that's why we put them in at opposite sides so it kind of naturally wants to hang up in the middle there um, I'm just going to give this a little bit more of a Tyson that's looking pretty good and then it's one of the benefits of using a multi-tool. Just get your cable cutters on the other end. Give it a really big squeeze. Cut the cable off. What you can do, you can put some solder on the end or um, you, you, can, you can use some pliers and just make sure everything's really, really tight so nothing kind of sharp sticking out there. I'll probably tidy that up a little bit more at the very end, just get that cut a little bit closer. In fact, I'll see if I can just do that now, just on camera. And there you have it guys, that's, that's pretty much it then. So that is good to go. And I'll just show you how nicely that just fits down at the side when it's not being used. And when you do need it, you can obviously just fill up with whatever you've got. You can hang it above the fire and uh, you can carry out your cooking. This is the, uh, the lid that it originally comes with and this will fit on there with no problems at all around the outside of your handiwork. So nothing's gonna spill out. And just to show you that the whole thing fits away nicely. That just literally goes on there. This goes at the top exactly as it did before. The next time when it comes to cooking, take this off, take this part off, fill it up, and you can hang that directly over the fire and cook your rice, boil some water, purify water, whatever you need to do. So that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. It's a really cool, cheap little modification that if you've got one of these bottles, you can you can go out and do yourself. Um, maybe at the weekend if you've got if you've got a little bit of time spare. It from start to finish, it'll probably take you about 10 to 15 minutes. So it's a really really quick one, and it should cost you less than two pounds fifty. That's what it cost me. Um, hope you found this video useful. Um, if you've got any other comments or opinions or, or, or different modifications for this type of bottle we'd absolutely love to hear them below so please feel very very welcome to leave a message and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one